So I'm in the forest now, the local forest here, close to where I live. And um, after being on Crete, uh, holiday or what you call it, it's really, really nice to be back. Like, look at this, the oak trees, it's just fantastic. Brought my uh, Nikon D5 with a Tamron 150 to 600. This guy, that is the new Mavic 2 Pro. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, try the new Mavic. I've been flying a little at home. I've had it for a week or so, but I haven't had the time to like really enjoy it. So today I think I, like hopefully I'll make some really nice footage of flying between the trees and yeah, uh, then if I get something good and if I don't crash it like I used to do, I can uh, show you at the end of this video. In my bag, I also have two sausages, two delicious sausages, and, uh, and um, my flask with coffee. So uh, hopefully, at the end of today, I can uh, I'll walk to uh, uh, the place where I live, the little forest near my house. Uh, there, I'm allowed to have a fire, and yeah, just sit there, relax, have a, a grilled sausage on the fire, and have a cup of coffee. But uh, before that, let's go into the forest, let's fly the drone, and let's just enjoy nature today. So this is the place where I crashed the drone, just over there. But I love this place, except that I crashed my drone because the forest in here is beautiful. This is a very, very nice soft light. So I want to get my drone up here because the light is awesome. But first I'm just going to check out in this field if there are any roe deer or fallow deer because um, it's very nice to fly with a drone and the footage is awesome. I just have one issue with the drones and that is that they like like potential they can really disturb animals and birds and all living creatures and um, so I want to make sure that there are no D out here because we don't want to scare them. Just started from the hand because I have no really no, I don't have any flat surface. So uh, yeah, let's see. Ready to go, he says. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I have to start it from my hand, I, I guess. Please check it on the map. Should <laughs> I have the feeling that this is going to go very wrong? But uh, what do you think? Should we try? Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay, so the drone is up and uh, look at him. It's my first flight uh, except from just having it up home uh, outside my farm, so uh, Let's go. Ooh, this is good. So yeah, let's go fly.
So that was my first flight with a <laughs> DJI Mavic 2 Pro and uh, I think it is supposed to fly for like half an hour and I think I got like five minutes flight because I was faffing around, typical me. Like have to be honest to say I haven't read a lot of the manual um, but and then I was faffing around with the storage location and the internal storage and where to control it and of course I was flying uh, through the trees so I hope I don't know but I hope I got just a uh, one minute of footage um, on this one if I got you have already seen it so uh, yeah now it is time to pack this beast down and get a cup of coffee and then I'll tell you about what happened to the Canon equipment so uh, yeah Firmware update required. <laughs> Am I the only one who just sometimes go out and fly with the drone without having read the manual? I'm so glad I bought it. Uh, and I'm, I have no doubt that this one is going on so many adventures with me. I feel here I found the perfect tool for what I'm doing. So uh, yeah, but it's a lot of money. I have spent on it, and I uh, still I still haven't got the uh, I still haven't got the fly more package with the extra batteries and a bag. So I'm using my old bag, and I only have one battery and stuff. But yeah, I, I reckon that will come one day, and then I just have to pay some more money. So uh, yeah, but um, this guy I need some more practice because in the weekend I'm going to Scotland to photograph some wildlife and landscapes. So uh, this one is definitely coming. But coffee time. Mm. So, just to like kind of sum up on the using Canon thing uh, for filming, it's uh, quite simple right now. Or uh, it means that I've been using the 1DX on my home in my photo blind for trying to photograph the foxes. I've been using it in uh, uh, on my trip to Finland with the bears. You have probably see um, the two uh, two videos from from. Uh, one from traveling to Finland, one from uh, being in the photo blind photographing the bear and wolves. And the last one I made, the, the little love story, three minutes love story from Finland, uh, all shot with the Canon 1DX uh, Mark II. It has been really, really nice to use that equipment and I, I got totally comfortable with it, both when it comes to stills and when it comes to video. Um, unfortunately, I had to deliver it back to Canon and now I'm back with an Nikon D5, which I also love uh, a lot. Uh, so, so what is the conclusion on all this and why did I do it? Like, first of all, the 1DX is much better for making videos than the Nikon D5. The autofocus is much better. The controls, I think, are, are much better. Uh, the ability to shoot um, 4K in 60 uh, frames per second is so useful for me because I can slow it down uh, some of the footage I make. So let's see uh, what's going on uh, in the near future. Future, Maybe uh, maybe I'm going to uh, sell my Nikon D5 and my equipment and buy a, a used Canon 1DX with uh, some used lenses. Uh, it could be an option because I definitely don't afford to buy uh, everything from new. But that was the uh, equipment thing with the Canon Nikon thing and uh, just, just, just uh, um, I'm not in love with either uh, Canon or Nikon or Sony or Lumix. Like I'm using all, you know, I'm using the Tamron 150 to 6 and I'm using Sigma lenses. I'm using Panasonic Lumix. I'm Lu uh, like uh, Nikon, Canon. I use everything. I just use what I think is best for the job, and then uh, I don't care about uh, what the name is on the camera. And right now, I think 
for my vlogging. I like the Lumix GH5 just because it's a small and robust. Uh, and for my, uh, for my photography, I like the Nikon D5, but I could also see myself um, shooting with only Canon, like maybe a 6D Mark II for the vlogging camera and a 1DX uh, for photography. Uh, that could definitely do the, do the job too. And then I could get, I could benefit from the great video features uh, in the, in the uh, 1DX Mark II. Yeah, so that was all about the equipment, but um, I think So many mosquitoes now. <laughs> they, uh, they. I think they really like that I'm back in the forest. So, yeah, let's go. Let's find a nice place we can have a fire. There were two road here, and they definitely saw me before I saw them. Just another lesson in never to uh, think that you're not going to do wildlife photography, because when you're out here, you might see the deer. But now, let's just wait a little with lighting the fire because I think if we go over to these, these bushes over here, I th maybe if we are lucky, there'll be some deer grassing behind them. seem very shy. Okay, look at this. Let me just put this down and see if I can get some photos. It's a mum with two, uh, with two coughs. I don't want to disturb them. I just hope they don't get so close. If they get close to here, I'll start making a little noise, like talking a little louder than now, so they hear me and they can like go away slowly. But let's see if we can get some photos. It's amazing. Look at this, look at this. 
they now disappeared into the forest. I did not expect this. It was just meant to be a little trip where I could fly my drone and relax and have a cup of coffee and make a fire. But now I also got a picture of these beautiful animals. And that wasn't a really nice picture, but it was an awesome experience. Now it's time to take the backpack on, go to the forest, light a small fire and make a, a very unhealthy dinner. Two sausages, but uh, who cares? Let's go. There's no dinner. <laughs> no. The motivation is high. Yes, I think so. Oh. I couldn't get it started, so uh, I uh, I got some resin. You know, some of the pine trees they have these small bubbles on. And uh, hello, here I am. Uh, there are some resin, and I used that. So now it's running. Oh. Time for the sausages. Is it very weird to have a hand axe in the photo bag? But I mean, I think it's nice because uh, I need to make a, this little system here. See, for the sausage and here, coffee. Everything is awesome now. Look at this. My two sausages are going on this stick. Now it's just to wait for the sausages to uh, be done so I can eat them and time for the coffee. Mm. Wildlife photography for me is not something that's just like action packed and full of like flying eagles and always bear and wolves and stuff. It, it can also just be like a day out seeing some, maybe if I'm lucky, seeing some deer, having a fire, having my dinner out in the forest. It's awesome. See you out there.